All right, guys. Today I'm gonna to be doing a uh, short review video on this Vortex Crossfire Gen 2 um, Red Dot sight. I've got it mounted on my Wasser 10 63. Uh, I'm about to sight it in here in just a second. You can lower third co-witness. I've got this uh, Midwest Industries mount specifically for like the Aimpoint T1 or its clones, which is what this is. Um, and it bolts directly. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it bolts directly to the optic. There's no need for like a pick rail or anything that would raise the line of sight up. So I had to shave a little bit off. It's kind of crude right now. I will go back and polish that later, but uh, I can lower third co-witness with this optic and this mount on here. I think these are about 140 bucks. Um, I had a discount code, so I paid like 130, I think, for mine with shipping. The uh, the main difference, I think, between the Gen 1 and Gen 2, which I'm not 100% because I never owned a Gen 1, but I do think the main difference is the battery life on setting six, which is relatively dim on this one. I like seven or eight better, but uh, it's 50,000 hours. I believe the Gen 1 was like half that, maybe even a little less. Um, I'll let you see the settings here, what all it comes with. It does have two night vision compatible settings, which is pretty nice for a cheaper, kind of lower end optic. Um, it's a Torx, Torx bit instead of an Allen bit, so it does come with all that. And it also has, it has a lower mount for co-witnessing and it has a high mount if you have um, cheek weld issues, which is kind of nice. That's the high mount. If you got like an AR or something with a higher cheek cheek well cheek pad, and that's the low mount it comes with. If you got like a pick rail set up or something you want to mount it to, like I said, this one's just mounted directly to the um, side mount there. It comes with this little cover and a little pad to wipe the lens with and stuff. But <clears throat> pretty happy with it so far like I said I can lower third co-witness I may try to put, put the dot on later so you can see it's kind of hard to film while I'm looking through this but and there's that I don't know if you can tell maybe a quarter inch of clearance if that between the this mount and the dust cover. There was more, but I shaved some off to get it down to where I could lower third co-witness, but. Got elevation on top, windage on the side, and all the different settings. Night vision one, night vision two. I don't know if you can see, there you go. Three, four, five, six. That's what they rate the battery on, but I can't see through it very well. It's pretty dim, so I usually roll on like seven or eight, but it goes all the way up to 11. Go back and see if you can see it. I don't think you can see it through the camera. It's kind of weird. Anyways. About to do some shooting with it and let y'all see kind of the accuracy. I'll take it off, take it back on, put it back on with this uh, side mount and everything because it is a QD. Quick detach mount. Let y'all see how that works. But uh, yep. I just take my glasses off. They were fogging up. Let's try this again.
All right, now I'm going to take this whole scope mount off. You can see that. Slide it back on. See if it holds zero. Throw another mag in here. To say for the money, I love this little thing. 140 bucks, you can't beat that. Let's see if y'all can maybe see what I'm seeing now. Yeah, there you go. I had to put it on illumination 10 to be out here in this bright sunny day. And honestly. With the lower third co-witness, I didn't have to sight this thing in at all. I just lined it up with my irons. So, show you all this target up here. It's about 50 yards away. And the one miss you did hear, that was because of me. I was rapid firing and not lining up my side again but yeah just to give you a size comparison of this silhouette here hundred forty bucks man you can't hardly beat that with this mount having the lower third co-witness being able to quick detach if you need to you can get the dust cover off even with this mount. I know this is not a review of this mount, but this mount optic setup, I just, I love it. So yeah, Crossfire Gen 2 Red Dot, definitely recommend. If you're looking for like a lower end Red Dot that still has a lot of capabilities, uh, it's a, probably the best bang for your buck as far as that goes, unless you want to get a like an Aimpoint T1 or something. I do have the primary arms clone of this and I will say I recommend this over the primary arms. I just think the reticle illuminates a little better and you don't have to put the washers in on this uh, mount setup like you do if you have the primary arms to knock off. So yeah, Crossfire Vortex Gen 2 Red Dot, highly recommended.